Hey, how's it going? Day five. Um, all right, so I just had an interview with a, a conservative who lives in Berkeley. Um, dude, 31 years old, <laughs> weighing in at 160 pounds. Now, anyway, I don't know why I told you he was 31. Um, probably because most people I've been interviewing have been um, older, maybe? That's not even true. Anyway, whatever. His name's Jason. Um, he's a, the brother of a dude yesterday that I interviewed. Um, who's li liberal, so it's kind of cool to get like the two brothers, you know, the liberal brother and then the conservative brother. And um, uh, really cool, like very thoughtful, very um, a very intelligent, um, uh, sort of soft-spoken, um, able, I found the conversation was, we, we were able to weave in the conversation between like um, spots where we definitely disagreed, but were uh, like, but could see the other person's opinion. And spots where we actually agreed about um, about um, uh, lots of stuff. So um, one of the things that he said that was really interesting, he said um, um, when he was talking about his political beliefs, he said, "Imagine uh, two parents. One parent is like the strict parent who says no, you can't have that, or no, blah blah blah. And then the other parent is sort of the lenient parent, is like, okay, yeah, you can have that." His uh, impression of conservatives and, and liberals is that the conservatives are like the strict parent. You know, the parent who says, no, you can't have that. And that the liberal, the other parent who just gives in is the liberal parent. Now, I disagree that that's a fair characterization of liberals and conservatives, but I liked hearing that because it makes me understand conservatives a little bit better. Um, I like being that. I am that parent that says, no, you can't have that. You know, um, when I was a teacher, if you get at the end of the semester, if you had a 79.4, you got a C plus. If you had a 79.5, I would round up to 80 and give you a B minus. But I made no exceptions, like zero. Like if you were in danger of uh, not graduating, like 79.4, that's what you got, right? So I feel very connected to that idea of being the tough parent. So it makes sense. It makes a lot of sense to uh, to me that if he equates that with being conservative, that he would want to be that. So it's uh it was just a really cool like understanding of conservatives that I didn't have before um I feel like being uh liberal and progressive and democrat um I feel like we are the ones that um that have the um integrity and the discipline and the tough parent um but I can see how he would you know hey there's just, just It'd be nice to take care of everyone, but uh, there's no mo there's not enough money for that. Now, uh, of course, like I go to okay, but there's enough money to spend you know 18 times more on our military than the second you know uh, most uh, paying country. Um, but if I stop before I go to like arguing against his point, I um, I uh, I get it and I understand it. it. Makes sense to me and it makes me feel. Like he has something valuable to offer, you know, and that we can dis we can talk about issues, um, very complex issues like um, uh, social programs, the military, immigration. We can talk about those complex issues in a way that we can um, come up with creative. We can come up with solutions to the the issues that we're um, that are facing our our country together because he's thoughtful and he has you know. Uh, thinks about the intricacies I think like we in fact at one point we said it seems like we differ on a lot of things but one place in where we're one place one issue in which sorry I'm not speaking very well one place where we agreed was our common enemy is oversimplification if it's like you know someone anti-immigration like kick them all out that's not that's a simple problem to a complex uh, a simple solution to a complex problem it doesn't work it's not going to work so anyway i found a very thoughtful very intelligent very soft spoken very um sort of peaceful and um uh, interested in integrity and discipline and i liked it i liked all those things so even though we were able to we were dis we disagreed on many things i i really enjoyed speaking with him uh, a good dude. All right, um, I gotta get I gotta get out of here. It's time to go. I may have an interview later today uh, or maybe tomorrow in Reno, so it's time to head east.
here we go. This is kind of like where the real journey begins, you know, as I, as I head uh, east across the country. So I will talk at you tomorrow from wherever I am, probably, uh, probably Reno, but um, maybe even Salt Lake City. I may have to get, get all the way there for uh, uh, another interview. All right. Um, hope you're well wherever you are. Thanks again for your support. Um, continue to share us and like us and, and, you know, encourage your friends to contribute, all that kind of stuff. Uh, thanks again. Bye.